Good morning, friends. Got invited all the way to this very southern tip of Armstrong County. I'm gonna try a new coffee shop today. Will it be better than East Biare? I don't know, <laughs> we'll find out. All right, so we gotta do a taste test here. This is versus versus East Biare. It's my, uh, I've had several sips already. I'm trying to kind of place it. Give you a comparison. It's got a little more bitterness. It's a very full flavored coffee. I just got their basic drip, black. It's like, it's how you have to taste coffee for the first time. I'm excited to come back because they have a lot of different menu items that look very interesting and the baked goods look incredible. I'm not sure where they come from, but I'm gonna figure that out. Um, just really good stuff. It's a great cup of coffee. This is the this is the Starbucks of Freeport for sure. It's a high quality product. Just the branding of this place is really amazing. I'm here with um, Marty Getzinger. Uh, he made a couple years ago a video that I thought was incredible. Um, when the HGTV project was happening, I'll link the Catanning video. They made one for Freeport that was like top notch, um, you know, Netflix documentary quality video. And so you gotta check that one out if you haven't seen it already. So um, Marty's gonna show me a couple things around town, but I had to come and try this. Uh, Better than East Biare? No. Very good? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this place is busy too. I mean, a lot of people coming in as we've gone. There's people having meetings here. This is a, a what day is it? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday morning. This is a great, great place. All right, so this is Marty. We're brainstorming a lot of small town stuff showing him the uh, Catanning system, and obviously we have the same heart for video and small town. And you have a building down here? We have a building, we're gonna go look at it. We call it the jail project. Okay. <laughs> it's, been, it's actually the city's uh, fire department uh -huh. before. It had the city office in it, and downstairs are still three jail cells, which I'll show you. Oh, that but, sounds um, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of creepy down there, it's not a, uh, but we've been fixing it up, and, and initially we, we put in, we were just, I just needed a place to store my wife's uh, real estate stuff, like her staging equipment. Yeah. We're like, once we bought the building, we're like, we can do so much more for the town if we fix this up. Yeah, absolutely. And change it. So I can show you kind of what we're doing and how we're thinking about it. Uh, with the rails, the trails coming to town, th there needs to be a place for people to stay. Yeah. If you're on a really long bike ride, you're not going to make a, a multi-hundred mile bike ride in one day. Yep. So you need stopping points. Absolutely. And we're thinking about, you know, how can we turn this into an Airbnb? How can we provide something valuable to the community? So that's, that's what we're building down here. And, Kind of excited to show you. Yeah, it's going to be really awesome. And, um, you know, Freeport, a very similar town to Catanning. Um, there's vacancies downtown, but there's a lot of good stuff happening too. And so I think it's incredibly important for like minded people to get together, Especially share yeah. ideas. And uh, you guys have built a site called Living Pittsburgh, which mm -hmm. we've been doing a lot of brainstorming on what that would look like to partner. And I think uh, it's going to be a small town revolution yep. in Western PA. Right now, the site's you know, kind of all about real estate, but I want to change that to be. Um, how do we revitalize small towns mm -hmm. across the city? And uh, th there's just so many little areas and pockets, and a lot of people have a heart for it, um, but no structure. So right. how can we provide some structure? Absolutely. And I think a lot of the systems that we're building, and there's, I'm sure there's other small towns that are doing great stuff, and all that could be aggregated. 100%. We'll see a rising tide in Western PA, which, you know, rising that, tide raises all ships. Th that is my goal. Yeah. And, and when I saw your videos out there, I'm like, this is a guy that similar heart, you know, uh, similar belief system. Yeah. And 
and we're not doing it for us. We're doing it because we think that there's other people that want to join us. Amen. And everyone wants to rise. Yeah. And so I don't think this is the last time you'll see Marty on the channel. Um, hopefully we'll do some podcasts. We'll be having a lot of conversations to. and we'll, uh, we'll figure this thing out yeah. little by little. Little by little. All right, let's go look at the jail. Yeah. <laughs> so this literally was the jail at one point. They have uh, slowly redone the uh, storefront here. You see new windows on the front, uh, working on the, the garage door here. It's already looking better, man. And the river literally is just like a hundred feet that way. So as far as a uh, Airbnb, this looks like it's gonna be a really cool place. Come on in, it's great to have you. Oh my gosh. So this main hallway they're calling the perp walk and they'll be uh, leading to the, the three different rooms here. This is really cool. <laughs> this is one of the coolest designed places, like you know, all the little things put together. I gotta meet this real estate agent. She uh, she has an eye. Okay, now down to jail. <laughs> Here's the actual cell. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? You got the monkey in prison there. Yep, go, go ahead in and you can see the uh, toilet slash um, um, water fountain. Drinking fountain toilet. Yeah. Wow, how cool. All right, locking me in. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Got everything I need. Got a nice bed here. Got the toilet, drinking fountain. We're just good to go, man. Now that would be an Airbnb experience. What a cool building. Endless possibilities here. Wow, that was such a good meeting. Uh, we uh, obviously didn't tell you even 10% of what we talked about, but um, Marty and his wife, they're doing amazing things just all across the Pittsburgh region. They have a real, we share a, the same heart. Uh, we share, share the same uh, value system. So I know we're gonna be working together and it's pretty just, it's just pretty cool to come down to Freeport. If you think about all the things that we talk about for Catanning and what the economic transformation is going to be, um, trying to transition from a commercial, or sorry, an industrial center to more of a tourist-based economy, Freeport's looking to make that same transition. And so how cool that old like jail, making that into an Airbnb, because this will be the beginning of the Armstrong Trail that is going to be a big piece of the Pittsburgh to Erie Trail. And so we're all kind of banking on that as one of the big future economic drivers. And they're putting together all the pieces just like we are in Catanning. So um, we're gonna probably do a property survey here we're hopefully going to build the system together and he'll be able to help me from a real estate perspective on vacant storefronts. And so we're just going to see how we can partner, see how we can solve some of these problems and continue to, to make this transition, not just for Catanning, but this is for all of Armstrong County. And really we're trying to build a model for every small town in America. So it's, uh, it's really exciting. We have some cool businesses down here too. Old school stuff that's making a comeback. Like, you know, if they can, if they can survive through the last 30 years, I think they're gonna do much better in the next 30 because uh, people people like supporting some all town business now. It's become it's become an in vogue thing to do. Scott Scuba Service, little cafe, got a dog groomer. Nice little ecosystem going on down here around the uh, around the beautiful coffee shop. So if you're a coffee drinker, small town aficionado. Would definitely suggest making a trip down to Freeport for the day. Um, I'm gonna be back here a few times, so we'll probably have a little, little few Freeport videos coming and maybe some podcasts with some of the business owners down here because I think there's a lot of things that would be valuable, not only to Catanning, but just to other small business places. And I know, I know Marty's gonna be a great resource um, for the things that we're doing too. So just, man. These kind of meetings, these kind of days just get me all jacked up because sometimes it can get, you can feel really lonely when you're trying to do some of the things that we're trying to accomplish. 
But then you meet other people from other towns that have the same heart and you're like, okay, what we're doing is important. Like it's worth the effort because it's not about me. It's about all of us. It's about these communities that we really care about and uh, we, we can't let them die. We have to keep pressing forward to this like new place of life that, that, we're, that we're seeing the first fruits of. Like it's actually happening, you guys. And so it's just like, as long as we don't quit, we can't lose. We just gotta keep going. kicking myself for not coming down to Freeport sooner and I'm really upset with myself if I didn't bring the drone today. <laughs> I think there's a lot of cool drone shots to be had down here but you know maybe next time we'll be in spring bloom and it'll be even better so uh, look for that in the near future. Some, some drone shots over Freeport.